Laban. Everybody read. Thus I was. By day, the heat consumed me. The frost by night. My sleep fled from my eyes. You have no idea what he's talking about. But when you are in the Middle East, you will notice in the desert, daytime, extremely hot. Nighttime, extremely cold. That's what he was going through. Hard life. Then, these 20 years, I have been in your house. I served you 14 years for your two daughters, six years for your flock. And you changed my salary 10 times. If the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac had not been for me, surely you would have sent me away empty-handed. God has seen my affliction and the toil of my hands, so he rendered judgment last night. Now, if you read the previous verses, last night meant God appeared to Laban. When Laban was chasing Jacob, God appeared to Laban and said, you better be careful, don't hurt Jacob. That's why when Laban spoke to Jacob, Laban said, you know, I could have hurt you. You are within my power, but your God appeared to me. And that's what he's saying. Again, Jacob is beginning to see God at work in spite of all the hardship. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to learn to connect the dots of your life. As you look at your life today, be honest with me. Are you having problems? If you don't have problems, don't say yes, because you'll have problems in the future. Don't worry. Problems or no problems, are there people you like? Are there people you don't like today? Are there people in your life that you don't really like? Yes or no? Not too loud, not too loud. What's my point? God allows people, the one that you don't like, God allows circumstances, especially those circumstances you don't like, to chisel you, to mold your character. Why? To bring you to a point of brokenness. At this point, Jacob is beginning to connect the dots. God has been with me throughout these 20 years.